Assalamualaikum uh, Good morning to everyone Today we will start on the chapter 3 For PA120 The title is Stakes The title of chapter is Stakes Okay And the Stakes means that Regarding to the nations To the nations And that means that When we talk about the Stakes That means that we are look on the terms of uh, how the state is ruled How the state is ruled Bagaimana sebuah negara diperintah So when you look on here The most important thing is the state State is the derived from the word status of the one nations Which why we should know that uh, Niccolo Machiavelli okay. Niccolo Machiavelli when he write the books about the prince, the art of the war, the cause of the first decade of the Titus Rivers and history of forests, this book, this book, buku ni menceritakan, uh, menceritakan how the how the stakes rule the peoples. Sometimes, uh, sometimes the rulers are very authoritarian. And this make the people will be revolved. When people revolve, and then how the ruler to manage and control the state. Uh, this is the art of the war that the writing by the Machiavelli. Okay. So regarding the state also was uh, being uh, highlighted by the Aristotle. Okay, Aristotle. Aristotle is a Yunani, okay, Yunani scholars, okay. It's a regarding, uh, it's a regarding the, uh, the most power, the most power, the most power is regarding the ruler of all social institutions, is the states, okay. And now we're going to the another ones is the withdrawal is the state is a people organized for law within a definite territory. Okay, withdrawal is a uh, very famous on the expressions of the uh, power is a dichotomy. Withdrawal is a dichotomy. Dichotomy that means that uh, pemisahan kuasa antara eksekutif dengan legislatif. Withdrawal Okay, never mind. Uh, you you uh, you will read more about it on the PAD two two four O. Okay, PAD one two O is a uh, just a surface to tell you. <coughs> okay, what's the stakes definitions? Okay, <coughs> and now we're going to the last one. Is the as you, if you look on the slides, is a uh, Garner Sigwig Professor Lasky define the stakes. Okay. Define the stakes. You can read it. Okay. The element of stakes is the population, territory, government, and sovereignty. Okay. So you must understand the stakes have a population, the state have a territory, the state have a government, and the state have a sovereignty. Without this four, it's not uh, definitions, uh, full definition of the stakes. Okay. So if you look on here, is it have a population without a stake? Population without a stake. Population without a stake. That means that penduduk tanpa negara. Is it have? Yes. Palestines. Palestine. The Palestines, when you look on the Palestine, is a population without a stake. What means that? Uh, apa maksudnya? Okay. Maksudnya, penduduk Palestine. Dia tak ada negara Palestin yang diiktiraf. Uh, so yang diiktiraf adalah is Israel. Jadi Palestin kini adalah sebuah negara sebuah penduduk tanpa ada negara. Okay. Sebab Palestin dijajah oleh Israel. <tuh> Itu maksudnya. Okay. So population is what? Population is a rational inhabitants of the state binding by law, living together for the purpose of mobilizing a polity. Okay. When you look, when you when you see on the state bind by law, bind by law, 
And then you say that Eh, Palestine have a law Yes, Palestine have a law <laughs> Tapi The law is the Israel law It's not the Palestine law And then you say that Eh, Palestine living together For the purpose of a of polity Yes, they are, they are living together But The purpose is not Them The purpose is for Israel The Israel The Israel akan menentukan what the mind everything for Palestine. So when you look on here, is a populations without a state is the Palestine. And then <coughs> people of different eth eth ethnicity, religions, and language, <coughs> but of one. <coughs> nah. And then you look on here, people of different ethnicity, religion, language, but for but of one. Apa maksudnya? Oh, apa maksudnya? Okay, pertama kamu kena faham. When you look on the different ethnicity, religion, and language, that means that mostly, mostly all the countries of the world have a have a different ethnicity, have different religions, have different language. Negara mana yang tak ada perbezaan, tak ada perbezaan kaum, etnik, agama dan bahasa? Semua negara ada perbezaan. Ha. Semua ada perbezaan. Kecuali Israel. Ha. Kalau pergi ke Arab Saudi pun, Arab Saudi bukan semuanya adalah orang Arab. Ada juga orang-orang orang-orang ha, Yaman, orang-orang banyak orang yang tinggal di Arab Saudi. Kalau pergi ke India pun Bukan semuanya orang India ha, Ada juga agama-agama lain Ada juga bahasa-bahasa lain So you must get me or not So you must you must understand that Today's Almost all the countries have a different Ethnicity, religions And language but they are One countries uh, One that means one is what Satu negara satu budaya, satu jiwa, satu budaya, satu jiwa, satu bahasa. Ha. That means that pergi ke mana mana negara, you go to any any countries, okay, okay, whatever is, they have a different ethnicity, religion, language, but they talk with one language. Ha. Macam di India, Hindi, Thailand, Thai, Indonesia. Indians language, so they have different ethnicity, they have different religion, they have different language. They are talking about, but they when they when they come to the terms of the state, they become one. I said Malaysia lah, ah Malaysia ada lagi, ah Malaysia ada lagi ya, ah Malaysia ada lagi ha. Kenapa Malaysia? Why Malaysia? Because you must know that. Whatever that we have a different ethnicity, religion, English, but when you regarding about the the terms of the state, okay, not every everybody can speak Malay. Ah, uh, not everybody have a what say that um, same Malaysian cultures. You are different cultures become one cultures, but when we when going to the every ethnicity, they are different from others. Itu maksudnya, okay. And then nationality consists of population of the state. Nationality is acquired through administrative acting, naturalization, or birth. Ini, ini, ini merujuk kepada kewarganegaraan. Nationality is a kewargana, kewargana, kewahan, kewarganegaraan. Nationality, kewarganegaraan. Okay. Jadi Malaysia is what? Okay. Before independence, we are we are using just solely naturalizations. After independence, mostly we are both using the both. And now you say, is it just just solely was uh, still using? Yes, just solely still using, especially for the party. No party, party ayam. No 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 no. Party is a penduduk pendatang tanpa izin bukan penduduk pendatang tanpa izin so when they coming they must have follow the jus soli and then they will get the penduduk tetap taraf penduduk tetap 
uh, and then they must follow again to get the full nationality. The members of one single family do not make a state. They should be a series of families, community, society, and state. Ah, yes. That means that from the smallest, smallest unit of the state is fa family. And then the second one is a smaller community. And then small society. And then we become a state. Okay. And then you go, you look on this that there's a no minimum and maximum requirement except for a size of populations. Yes, that's a Brunei. Brunei is regarding 180,000, uh, If you go to the China, it's a 1.4 1. 1. billion, India 1.3 billion. Okay. However, certain states like China does district population growth for several reasons. Uh, that means that uh, population growth district population grow. Nah, ini dinamakan sebagai control of birth. Okay. Other state like Singapore, Malaysia do the opposite. Whereby both need more due to economy, political needs. Ah, Malaysia memang nak penduduk. Okay. Tapi orang Malaysia tak nak penduduk. Ah, tak nak lahir anak. Okay. And then <coughs> territory. <coughs> When you look on the territory. Okay. Territory is a sepadan. Sepadan. No territory, no state. No territory, no stake. Every piece of territory belongs to a stake. Every stake contains of a specific land or territory that distinguish it from other stake. Itu maksudnya, itu maksudnya sepadan, sepadan lah. Okay, so stake ni, you must understand stake. Stake is a nation, bukan merujuk pada negeri. Negeri dia dah, rumah dia ni macam ni. State sudah merangkumi semua negeri. Uh, so the state is regarding the nation, negara. Okay, and then such a geographical area may be in one continuous land proper, like Thailand, or like islands, Philippines or Indonesia. Uh, ada negara kepulauan, ada negara yang tak ada pulau, uh, tak ada pulau, ada negara yang tak ada laut, no, no sea. Uh, Which country that doesn't have a sea? Laos. Uh, a country without a sea is a Laos. And then another one is what? Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, Tumukistan, Apastan, uh, semua stan. Okay. And then today, nearly all land, water, space portion of the earth belong to a uh, to or a uh, claim by state. Ah, uh, when you still say state, that means that <coughs> land, water, and space. <coughs> Is it have a state without a space? Ha. Adakah sesebuah negara tanpa ada udara? Mesti ada udara. Ha. So, semua negara sekarang ni ada tanah, air dan udara. Kalau tak ada udara, tak boleh menafas. Oh, we die. So, you must understand. Okay. Water, land and space. Okay. And then... It includes yeah, island, lakes, islands, diverse natural resources. Ah, ini biasa lah. Okay. Ah, maksudnya the state boleh claim, boleh claim tasik dia, pulau dia, sungai dia, hasil bumi yang ada dalam tanah, air dan udara. Ha, udara apa benda udara dia boleh dapat? Oksigen lah. Okay. Oksigen. It's oksigen. And then the agency and the machinery of the state through which the will of the people is formulated, expressed and carried out. Ini merujuk kepada, this reference to government. Government. Hmm. Okay. That means that government is what? Is the, the, the institutions rule the people. Uh, government is a rule the people. Uh, because they have, a, they have the power to rule the people. So they have monopoly regarding the use of the force. And then they have an X. Uh, so the government will X. Okay. Bertindak. X of peace or X of the regulating the law. Okay. So the third one is the government. The first one is population. The second one is the territory. The fourth one is the sovereignty. Sovereignty is what? Total legitimate power. Kedaulatan. Kedaulatan. So the doctrine of sovereignty is that the state is the supreme decision making power. Supreme decision making power. Why? Uh, 
Uh, you must understand. When there's a state, there's a government. When there's a government, so the government has the supreme decision making power to the state. So the population have to follow the government. Uh, but the population, one can say that to follow the government means we think a geography related frontier. Maksudnya, penduduk bukan semua penduduk penduduk Thailand tak akan mematuhi peraturan kerajaan Malaysia. Penduduk Malaysia akan mematuhi kerajaan Malaysia. Penduduk Malaysia contohnya di Kelantan tak akan mematuhi peraturan di Thailand. Uh, that means that we think a geography delineated frontier. Maksudnya, dalam sesebuah kawasan, dalam sesebuah penduduk, yang mematuhi sesebuah kerajaan yang termatuk di dalamnya uh, itu lah maksudnya that's the means okay get it uh, and then when they have a, when, they, when the government have a sovereignty so they have subject to external authority only by its consent uh, subject to external authority only by its consent maksudnya apa maksudnya kuasa luar bila datang ke sesebuah negara mesti mendapat persetujuan Kerajaan sesebuah negara Itu maksudnya Okay Get me or not Subject to external authority Only by its consent Maksudnya Kuasa luar Bila nak datang Untuk membuat sesuatu Dan sesebuah negara Mesti mendapat ke Keputusan Kebenaran Daripada kerajaan Negeri yang termasuk dalam kawasan itu Itu Dia punya penerangan Okay Okay <coughs> Habis dah Finish already, we have an element of state for population, territory, government, sovereignty, nitty, for, for only. Okay. And then, propose and function of the state. What's the purpose and function of the state? Maintaining social order, first one. Maintaining social order. Uh, that means, that's of course, because <coughs> that's, the, that's the function of the state, rule, <coughs> rule the people. When when the government have rule the people, that means that the government rule the state. When the government rule the state, they have to maintain the social order. They have to solve the conflicts. They have to solve the any any things that arise within the states. Okay. And then when you look on here, they they highlight John Locke explained in two treaties in sixteen nineties. Okay. John Law, John Law, okay. That mean that man consent to government, okay. Ini kamu kena paham. Ini dipanggil social contract. Kenapa social contract penting? Why social contract is most important? Because you must understand that social contract, the first one, uh, regarding kelompok, the communities, the communities agree. Agree to consent to form one government of the states. When they have agreed to form a uh, uh, agree to form one government of the state, they have a negotiations. They have a negotiation like a tanah Melayu, like a Malaya in the older days. Ah, Malaya on the older days that we do look on here. Uh, Melayu, Malay, and Chinese and Indians they agree they agree a certain things that how to form the governments okay they agree like what like what the form of the uh, what the form of the uh, government system that they might use the first one is a democracy democracy they agree to the democracy they are they are disagree about the communisms so the Chinese and Indians reject the communisms. The Chinese and Indians accept the democracy. Okay, uh, that's, that's the first one. Yes, that's the first one. And then the second one is a uh, why social contract is important because it's it's a uh, identical, identical to form an an identical for one country. Maksudnya pembentukan uh, identity sesebuah negara memerlukan social contract. Contohnya, okay, contohnya apakah identiti Malaysia? Apakah identiti Malaysia? Identiti Malaysia ni is what? Ah, macam mana kita nak tahu identiti kita? Kita kena melal, kena melihat pada jati diri kita. 
Okay, jati diri kita contohnya social contract ni ialah apa dia? Kedaulatan raja-raja Melayu. Nah. The the the, the regime back of the Belih Dura And then Hak istimewa Melayu Publish of the Malay The third one is what? Bahasa Melayu Malay language uh, Malay language And then Islam is the official regions So ini identity negara kita Identity negara kita is what? Islam is the official regions Uh, Malay language is a, our language So it's called Malaysia Bahasa Malaysia And then Regarding the privilege of Malay Okay Because for Malay is a Pribumi It's a native In this land And then the The legitimate of the Malay rural Okay this means that When you look on here you can You can find out in the Rukun Nenggara Rukun Nenggara We live in God Because of Islam Royalty to the uh, Kesetiaan kepada Royalty to the Rumilih Rura uh, And then Kedaulatan Undang-Undang uh, Kedaulatan Undang-Undang Sovereignty of Law eh? And then Keluluhan Perlembagaan uh, So you you look on here The the means that Rukun Nenggara Rukun Nenggara is our identity curse is a Malaysia identicals is is a is a comes from the social contracts and then the third one is what the third one when 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 we need the social contract is a is what is what ah uh, because we want to maintain social order because we don't want men to involve in conflicts so Social contract can be used as a tools to to do uh, what do uh, what. Uh, maksudnya social contract digunakan untuk apa? Uh, to avoid the conflict in this country. So we have a, we have a certain things to agree. Certain things to agree. Uh, that means that everybody lived in this country must agree, must agree with the social contract. Uh, so that I say that, uh, that I say that, legitimacy of a Malay ruler, privilege of Malay, Islam's official, Malay language as a na national language, and then the nationality is based on just solely. These five things of the social contrast was agree, was agree by our father's fire, our father's parents. So, anything related to these social contracts, we have agree. If you have not disagree, you have to accept these things uh, because we want to avoid the conflicts. Okay, to avoid the conflicts okay and then social order maintain the social also also, also a way to resolve the conflicts like the always that say we say like the, 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 we say that the social contracts okay so anything that we have not agree we can go to the court okay we can go to court and then the court will say that Ba, 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 ba. You must take it You must accept it You must accept it uh, So If you still Want to revoke And don't want to reserve So the government Will use the coercive force To force you To follow the law and order Okay And then the second one The functions of the government Is providing public service Of course The government must be Provide public service Because it's a government Cause government, so government must give the public service. It's a provide the essential service like what? Essential service, help, no help, help, ah, and then educations, and then security, ah, and then water, electricity, and so on. Okay, essential service. So the government also must have a 
undertake the project to build to build the nations to build the nations so when you want to build the nation you must build the system that like civil systems uh, education system health system any systems and then you must have also state legislation require people to pass driving tests uh, that's a law so private service also regarding the facilities <coughs> facilities facilities eh? okay and then providing the national security of course huh? because the government is the is the power that given to provide the national security like army police custom immigration huh? so the government must protect the state and the government must protect the state so they must handle they must handle relation with other nations, handle the security. So they have also handle the territory, about terrorists, uh, anything regarding the national security. Uh, and it's not regarding the army, the police, also the economy, security like that. And I think three agreements, and then cultures, trade and cultures propose, uh, our cultures must be protected and then the third was <coughs> is a making economy decisions uh, this one is the most important because <coughs> without economy people be, people live in the poor people will live in the uh, staff okay so economy is very important okay so the government in one nation in one state must provide the citizens with economic opportunity economic opportunity that means that the government must create the jobs uh, create the jobs uh, why because when create the job the citizen get the job so there's a money for them to buy for their foods for their things desire and then if the country if, if the government in the one nation cannot do it so that means that what is, that means that they are creating the conflict in society they are, conf they are creating the conflict in society okay so that means that the government not only intervene domestic crisis but also economic affair of other nations ah economic affair of other nations why why economic effect of other nations? Why? Ah, like this. Eh? Like this, ah? Okay. Contohnya. Okay. Perikanan. Perikanan. Ikan. Nelayan Indonesia tangkap ikan di perairan Malaysia. So, adakah kerajaan Malaysia campur tangan? Of course. When the fishermen from Indonesia come to the our sea, taking our fish, and then what happened to us? Malaysia, Malaysia, less fish. So it's a, it's what, it's, a, it's what, it's what. Ah, apa, apa semua ni? Ah, that means that it will make our fishermen less fish to catch. So it's a regarding the economy opportunity. Ah, fishermen need fish. Where they get the fish from the sea, they get the fish from the sea, and then they take it, they sell it to the people. They get the money, so that means that there is an economy opportunity for the for them. So, if this happen, so Malaysia government have to solve it. How to solve? Intervene to reduce the cost of the conflict. Go into Indonesia, talk with them. Or we are taking some certain security, uh, certain security. Maybe we can caught the Indonesian fishermen, uh, and then we find them. Okay, that means that. Okay, <clears throat> and then one thing that, that when you are, when you want to look on the best thing is the what? Uh, U.S. aided the countries economically in which they believe will fall to communisms. Uh, that means that U.S. A British aided our country at the time in the 
1970 because the British and the US feeling that if they had if they had not helping the, Mal the Malaysia maybe Malaysia will fall into the communism okay and then the government also passed the law that shaped economic policy of nations uh, that's uh, the thing I tell you that earlier and then government must, must also make the decision that discrete benefits and public service among the citizens yes of course benefit and public service among citizens that what free health care free education okay uh, and then maybe we, we maybe the government will offer the tax incentive for the for the farmers uh, maybe maybe the government will give the some subsidies petrol to the fishermen and then government try to stimulate economic growth uh, that's what we want to see that on the budget pre hunting national 250 billions uh, to stimulate economic growth because the impact of the COVID-19 and then what's the difference of state and nations ah the state of nation okay What's the, what's the difference between state and nation? Oh, by this, kita pasal state and nation lagi. Huh? Okay. We are looking here, we do not mean that nation but states. Similarity when the nation is a reality and one nation of nation states. Oh. It's very, very, very. No. Okay. Okay, I'll tell you. Each modern state is the nation state. Uh, each modern state is is a nation state. Nevertheless, there exists some important distinction between the state and the nation. Setiap negara modern dikenali sebagai sebuah negara. Sebuah negara. Tapi ada juga perbezaan. Okay, so what's the what's the difference? Okay, what's the difference? Ah, the first one. State has a population territory. Government sovereignty, but a nation uh, is a group of people who have strong stance of unity and common consciousness. Uh, you see that a nation is a group of people who have a strong sense of unity and common consciousness. Common territory, common race, common religion, common language, common history, common, 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 common. helping. Helping the formation of a nation. Apa maksudnya? Maksudnya macam ni. Okay, maksudnya macam ni. Ya. Okay. Okay. Penduduk asal. Penduduk asal sesebuah negara. Yang membentuk sesebuah negara. Penduduk yang kemudian datang. Penduduk yang kemudian datang. Membentuk sebuah stick. Maksudnya. Faham tak? Maksudnya When you say that Common territory Common race Common region 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 Common Itu maksudnya Penduduk asal Sesebuah negara So In every of the state In every of the state Is to have a native Peoples Native peoples Contohnya Malaysia, the native is Malay. Indonesia, the native is Indonesian. Uh, so, the coming, the coming of the person to the country, uh, seseorang yang datang ke sebuah sebuah negara, like Chinese, Indians, uh, and English, or any 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 race, came to the nation and formed the state. Okay. Why? Because the elements we are going go to build a nation keep on changing. Uh, the elements which go to build a nation keep on changing. Uh, maksudnya penduduk yang kemudian datang akan asimilasi dengan penduduk asal dan seterusnya membentuk nation. Okay. State is a political organization. Uh, faham? State is a political organization. Nation is a social, cultural, psychology, emotional and political unity. Itu perbezaan kedua. The second difference. State is a political organization. It's a government. Government. No, government. Nation is a social, cultural, psychology, emotional and political unity. And now the third one is the position of definite, 
def definitions of territory is essential for the state but not for the nations. Territory is the most important things for the state but not for the nation. Ah, maksudnya, okay, orang Melayu, orang Melayu, Malay. Is it Southern Thailand have Malay? Yes, Southern Thailand have a Malay. So why does the Malay in the Southern uh, in the Southern Thailands are not regarding Malaysians, but they are getting regarding the Thailand? Ah, uh, because it means on the when the state is the form, the government is the form. They have a theory. Story. This territory will divide sometimes the native people. Uh, contohnya perjanjian Bangkok 1909 memisahkan selatan Thailand dengan tanah Melayu. Uh, that means that. Okay. And then the last one, sovereignty is as a shift for the state but not for nation. Yes. Sovereignty is a kedaulatan. It's as a shift for the state because state is the government. Government must have a sovereignty power. But nations is regarding the peoples. Okay, the peoples. The peoples doesn't mean that they want the sovereignty because they the peoples doesn't have a power because peoples must follow the government. The government have the power. That means that. Okay. So when you look on here is uh, India. They have said India lah. Okay, India. If you look on India, okay, Bangladesh is India, Myanmar is India, Nepal is India, Bhutan is India, Pakistan is India, India is India, Sri Lanka is India. But when they come to the state, they have divide. Uh, India is only on the India continents. Outside is what Bangladesh, Pakistan, Nepal, Bhutan, Sri Lanka, Myanmar. And that's the state. Okay. And then nation can be wider than the state. Yeah, uh, yes, nation can be wider because the peoples, peoples, penduduk sesebuah, penduduk sesebuah kawasan kadang-kadang lebih luas daripada sesebuah negara. Contohnya Melayu. Okay, selatan selatan dekat Melayu dekat selatan Thailand ada Melayu, tapi bukan dipanggil sebagai Malaysia, dipanggil sebagai Thailand, tapi mereka ni adalah Melayu. Ha, contohnya seterusnya ialah Melayu juga ada di Burma Melayu juga ada di Brunei Melayu juga ada di Filipina So itu Itu skop luasnya Penduduk sesuatu kaum uh, Dipanggil sebagai Nation can be wider than the state There can be two or more Nationality living in one state uh, Memang betul There can be two or more Nationality living in one state Betul? Contohnya macam kita ambil Jasa Provolakia Dulu Chasabar Rakyat under Austria Empire Austria Tapi kini Chasabar Rakyat sudah berpisah Chash dengan Slovakia So itulah contohnya That's the, that's the very good examples Okay And then nation is more stable than the state Yes Because nation is the penduduk Penduduk memang selalunya stabil Ya, penduduk sebab sama budaya, sama agama, sama bahasa okay, So mereka ni lebih stabil Contohnya Melayu di, di Selatan Thailand Masih punya hubungan dengan Melayu di Malaysia So ini memang biasa Hubungan mereka lebih stabil Tapi state is not lah ha, State kamu tak boleh nak melangkaui sepadan okay? A state can be created While a nation is always result of revolutions ha, Memang betul lah State kita boleh membentuknya Tetapi penduduk Ataupun nation ni Yang ada diri pada culture sama apa, 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 Budaya sama Bahasa sama Semua sama ni Dia ni asal Dia mesti asal daripada evolusi Dia tidak boleh dibentuk Asalnya Memang sejati lah Okay The state use police power For preserving its unity and dignity The nation form a strong culture is training Yes Inilah maksudnya The state must have a Mesa Force Force to to serve their native integrity But nation is a penduduk Penduduk tidak perlu Penduduk dia ada hubungan budaya Pertalian darah, pertalian sejarah Itu yang dimasukkan dalam uh, Stake dengan nations Okay So itulah jawapan yang kita akan melihat Kepada chapter 2 sebenarnya So eh chapter 2 pula Chapter 3 There's a chapter 3 So there's a stakes There's the stakes Regarding the stakes Okay have any questions, you have to ask me, okay, regarding the lecturing of the stick. Okay, we stop here.